Recently, a YouTuber by the name of PickEye came out with a couple videos where he copies Louie's recipes from Pikmin 4 and makes them in real life. And so today, since I love Pikmin and I love cooking, I thought I'd make one of them for myself, including the bread bug and the dwarf orange bulborb. Louie's recipes for the bread bug say that bread bugs are hearty and nutritious, but also bland and unimaginative. They may be palatable in a pinch, but they hold no true culinary promise. And for the orange bulborb, he says, Although difficult to prepare, this exquisite creature is more than worth the effort. Great in fajitas. And instead of fajitas, we're going to use the orange bulborbs in a different type of Mexican food. Tacos. Let's start by getting your ingredients. You're going to need four eggs, one half stick of caquic chorizo, store-bought or fresh tortillas, and one freshly baked loaf of garlic bread. Start by breaking four snagret eggs and putting them in a bowl or Tupperware. Then, optionally, take some half and half, pour a little bit in, and then whisk with your eggs. There's no exact amount, but the more, the fluffier, but also the less taste of your snaggered eggs. And you're going to whisk it up until it's milky yellow and smooth and homogenous. Next, take out a cutting board, your loaf of garlic bread, unwrap it, put it down onto your cutting board, and cut a slice about a half inch thick. We're going to use this for our toast. I'm so sorry for what happened to the camera quality here, but I'll explain in great detail. You're going to get a medium sized skillet, put it on medium high heat, and put a generous amount of olive oil. Then you're going to take your chorizo, you're going to squeeze it out, and then you're going to break it up. Wait until it starts to sear to break it up, and then wait until it's seared enough to put in your eggs. It will start to all crumble and kind of melt together. It won't really be one thing anymore. Look how broken apart it is. And then you'll add your eggs. Next, you're going to scramble your eggs and mix with the chorizo until it gets a good consistency. Enough to where it crumbles a little bit, but it's not too messy and crumbly. You don't want it to be soft because it'll mean it's undercooked, but you don't want it to overcook it. And I think that's why Louis prefaces this recipe by saying it's a little hard to cook. It's all about timing so make sure it's correct. Next, we're going to put it off to the side. You're going to take a new flat skillet and put two of your tortillas on. Then, wait till they're ready and flip them. Make sure to toast both sides, but don't burn them. Then when you're done, fold them, put your chorizo on, and you can put a little dish off to the side as well and eat with a spoon. It can get a little bit messy, so having an extra tortilla underneath to catch all of the drippings or use a spoon to eat would be a good idea. Then, you're going to take your garlic oh, bread, yes. butter both sides, and put it on the smoking hot pan. Look at that. You should really hear the sizzle and the nice crispy sides when you spread your knife over it. Finally, you're ready to serve. and Put your garlic bread off to the side. Grab a drink, and go eat. This is my friend, Franklin the Bulbul. 
He's going to be eating with me and ranking the dishes as well. Hopefully this will become a series, so comment below what creature or meal you'd like me to cook next. This meal was delicious. The chorizo and eggs provided a very texturally sound meal, as well as the immense flavor from the chorizo itself. The toast was buttery and garlicky, which made for a great side to the dish. Optionally, you can have some spicy or bitter berries to go along with your Pikmin meals. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.